and good Monday morning to you. Well, the real estate market is on fire right now if you've been paying attention. And we are joined this morning by Hobie Hanna. You may be seeing him on some commercials on Fox 8 recently. He is president of Howard Hanna Real Estate Services with some tips. Hobie, great to see you. I think the last time I saw you, we were in the audience because our daughters competed together in, uh, in competition right. dance. So it's good to see you. It's good to see you, Stephanie. It's been many, for a long time. Many long years time. later, right, right, right. It yeah, has been a long time. They're all grown up. They are. They are. Let's talk about this real estate market. Things are on fire right now. It seems that that the uh, people are getting the prices that they want, and sometimes they have the house on, up up for sale in a day and getting multiple offers. Um, it's pretty extraordinary in this area, isn't it? It's it's extremely extraordinary. I've, I've you know never seen anything quite like this. That. Uh, um, we, we have such a lack of supply in the marketplace, and there might be multiple reasons to that, but a huge buyer demand. And uh, so th the old law of supply and demand, low supply, high demand, and uh, there's, we have bidding battles across the board, multiple offers coming in on homes. So it's exciting for sellers, and it's an exciting time to be in the real estate brokerage business, but it also has created a lot of fatigue for buyers and, and for real estate agents just managing through this process. Hobie, when you said there's multiple reasons why. I'm curious what those reasons are. I know when we started this with the pandemic, and then you were starting to see a lot of people losing their businesses and stuff, and I even thought, oh, my goodness, the real estate market is, is just going to be horrible. But obviously right. we're not seeing that. Or is it related to COVID and the pandemic and the shutdown? Well, you know, it's, it's interesting. If, if we would have had this interview last year at this time, uh, I wouldn't have been able to have any forecast. I felt the same way, um, yeah. the unknown of the pandemic and what was going to happen. Now, going into 2020, um, from our internal economists and everything we looked at, we thought it was going to be uh, the start of about a, fi a really strong five-year housing market uh, due to the fact that the millennial buyer was, was really getting to an age where um, you'd see more and more of that huge population base start to purchase and buy, coupled with low interest rates. But we knew that, the, that a little bit of a headwind might have been a lack of inventory, um, you know, the lack of new construction in our marketplace, uh, which has really diminished, especially that empty nester baby boomer product or that um, first floor master bedroom type product mm -hmm. to free up some of the inventory. Uh, now, low interest rates uh, and staying low has fueled even more of that market. Coupled with, I think, what the pandemic did is that it, it really we all were shut shut down in our homes. Um, we we found the things we liked about our mm -hmm. houses and that we didn't like about our houses, and so it became a lot of, ta of, of taste and, and thought process. In fact, we did one polling of uh, buyers from our website and found that uh, we found like I think it was seven out of every fourteen or fifteen buyers uh, who were. Our, our homeowners thought that they would sell, especially once things came back in line and the, the new normal was in place. Interesting. Wow. All right. So. We don't have a lot of time, but I do want to get to some tips for people who are uh, sellers and then tips for buyers as well. Sure. So for the folks who want to sell a house, do, do you say, do you still kind of spruce things up, throw on some paint, maybe get some carpet, or should you just wait to do that and see what happens? Because people may want to go in there with their own visions and do their own changes. Yeah, it's a great question. I think it, it really comes down to talking to your local realtor and being and consulting on that. There are still some home improvement tips will maximize value. And then there are other things because of the lack of supply in a specific neighborhood that, that I would say you don't have to improve and you can still get a maximum value. So you don't need to wait around and spend a lot more money in the house than uh, just check it out, right? I don't think so. I don't think so. I think right now is get yourself in the hand of a realtor. I mean, I know if you go to our website, uh, we can tell you exactly how many buyers are looking for your home in your neighborhood, uh, match you up, and, and really accelerate the sale and uh, let less time of, of having to keep it how, sale ready for the consumers. Sure, because that can be exhausting and overwhelming. And speaking of that, can be exhausting and overwhelming for the buyers <laughs> because, as you mentioned too, yeah. they are seeing these houses and then the next day there's offers on it. So that's a lot of stress. What do you do in that case? You may have only seen the house one time and it was all new to you yesterday. Then your real estate agent's coming back to you saying, hey, there's five offers on that house you saw yesterday. Yeah. So, what, what's your the advice to, to buyers right now? The couple of tips I'd give a buyer is number one, make sure you're pre-approved with it with a mortgage company, whether it's ours or whether it's another reputable mortgage company in the market. That's going to give you buying power and know where you can be. Number one, number two is work with a realtor. Uh, preferably, you work with a Howard Hanna realtor, but work with a realtor because and believe them when they say, make an offer. I'm going to give you guidance. Here's what it's going to be. Uh, we found so many buyers that are losing it. It takes them to lose out three or four times before they really get into that trust capacity of understanding the market. 
Um, and the third thing is, is just, is I would uh, sign up with a site like howardhanna.com and work with your local realtor so you know the inventory immediately. We do a lot of programs like our Find It First program where you're gonna find our inventory before it's on any of the national portals. So a lot of buyers who will go to some of those national sites that don't have real estate agents locally, mm. you're sort of finding about the data maybe a day late or, or not as quickly as you could by working directly with a real estate agent. Interesting, right. And it's amazing how you don't even have to leave your house. You can really do a lot of home shopping yeah. Yeah. and rule things out because of the amount of photos that you guys provide on your website. You guys do an absolutely fantastic job. Thank you. And it's amazing. Forbes, uh, Forbes just released that Northeast Ohio is one of the top five hottest real estate markets. So uh, that's incredible. Uh, Hobie, we yeah. thank you for all the advice. Thank you. Great suggestions. Thank you, Keep doing what you're doing, knocking it out of the Thanks. park. Good to see thank you. Thank you all. Thank you. you Have got a great it. week.